Don't come with the expectation that you're going to pass the first try. Reframe your mind to treat the first try as a starting point. Hello everybody, my name is Naya and I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today we're going to be talking about the Flatiron School coding challenges. In Flatiron School, which is the coding bootcamp I went to, every about three to four weeks there would be a coding challenge, kind of like a mini project slash exam to test how well you've picked up the material they've taught in the last three to four weeks. And this, it's, it's not a fun experience. It's not a fun experience because you get, for me, I got about, I think it was four tries total over four days. If over those four days, I ended up never passing the, you know, coding challenge, I would be in essence held back from continuing on to the next module. Now, if all of these words just don't make sense, I'll link some more videos of mine below where I talk about coding bootcamp and the Flatiron School process in terms of what to expect and what are modules and how is it broken up and all of that. So just check that out to answer some of those questions. But yes, it would prevent you from going on to the next module, really being held back about six weeks. So passing these coding challenges was quite pertinent to keep on with your timeline and just, I don't know, keep a little bit of your sanity throughout all of this. So I'm going to be providing you all with some tips as to how to pass them and the easiest ways to go about them to just, yeah, maintain maintain that level of sanity of yours. So let's get to it. Well, odds are when you do get your coding challenge, it's going to be different from your typical idea of an exam. You won't have a step-by-step -step guide of, okay, make an if statement. And then if you pass that, then you go on to the next question of, okay, now create an on-click fu function and you go on to the next. It really, or at least maybe by the tail end of your time at Coding Bootcamp, it'll be more like, hey, we want you to create this type of app that has these functionalities do it. So prepare yourself for that. So I'm going to provide you all with an example that I'm going to just carry out through this entire video. So let's use the example of making a calculator. The coding challenge you're given is, hey, you need to make a functioning calculator that allows the user to add numbers as well as multiply, divide, etc., and also clear out numbers without deleting all previous work. So clear out a number if they made a mistake and easily choose the right number. So build something like that. And it may add different details like the calculator, must go plus minus divide multiply in that order and yeah things like that and that's what i mean when i say it doesn't have a step-by-step -step guide it's more of an overall pro mini project that gives you the specifications and says what you need to be able to have accomplished or what that app needs to be able to do and so number one start with what you know Start with what you know. Don't just start coding right away. You need to take a second to take note of what is being asked of you. And when I say take note, I quite literally mean get a pen and paper out, put that computer to the side, and take your notes. What is the overall goal of this coding challenge and what is being asked of you? What has been given to you? Have they given you every file needed or will you be needing to create some yourself and all of that? Figure out what are the core deliverables. In the calculator example, we say it must be able to do one, two, three, four. The, all the functions must be, let's say, on the right side. The, user must be able to clear out a mistake without clearing out their entire backlog of calculations they had been doing. Write those down, what is being asked and what is expected for you to produce. If there's an extra credit portion, ignore it. Ignore it right away. We're not even trying, we're just trying to pass. Don't waste any time on reading that and trying to figure out how to solve that when you haven't even solved the bare minimum that they asked of you. Typically, I'm trying to remember how long the coding challenges were for me. <sighs> You're not gonna like my answer. <laughs> I rem it was either like one and a half or three hours, was it four hours? Yo, I don't remember, I don't remember, but it basically was an amount of time that seemed absurd in terms of like a long amount of time, yet every time I would look up and be like, oh my gosh, I thought five minutes have gone by and really I only have five minutes left. So it was a lot of time seemingly, so like a couple of hours when, but don't let that fool you, don't let that make you think you can slack off because that time will go, 
gone gone in just a few blinks so make sure you're being diligent throughout the entire challenge okay so you've written down what you know what's being asked of you what your core deliverables are now start working in thin vertical slices now what are thin vertical slices thin vertical slices basically means you're taking this whole problem and taking tiny the smallest tiny bites you can before trying to get through this whole big thing so the way you do this is you think to yourself what is the most basic most basic structure of this app they're asking me to build the tower of pizza okay what is the most basic structure i can give them okay put on some cardboard and glue it up and call it a day so in the context of this calculator app it would be starting out with just like let's say two buttons a one and a two or a red button and a blue button and having functions that say okay when the one is clicked console.log one when two is clicked console.log two now if that person clicks it and that is actually what the output is then you know you're on the right direction so then the next step would be okay now let me add some type of operators so let me add a plus sign so when one plus two is clicked actually take those values and add them and so just starting with like now three buttons and so that's what working thin vertical slices is making sure that you are on track making sure that you are not biting off more than you can chew right off the bat trying to solve this huge bake this huge app to build the tower of pizza meanwhile you're not even sure if your on click functions work so i know i'm talking a lot so let me remind you of the first two things you do step number one figure out what your core deliverables are actually sit down and, t and write those things out number two once you find those things out work in thin vertical slices to tackle each of these things so number three is don't go too long without rereading what they gave you rereading the worksheet rereading the github readme or whatever that they gave you to solve this problem to solve this challenge reread that and you don't have to be stuck to reread something the reason i say reread is because you will think that you have the problems spit spat done and then you look back and you're like oh my gosh i either totally missed a detail totally missed something and i just spent the last three hours doing this that and the third and now i have to figure out to a way to add this component to it or two not even missing something but you completely misread the problem this has happened to me i completely i was like okay bet like say no more and da, 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 da. and then it's time to submit i'm like oh my gosh i completely misread what they asked me to do especially with coding it's so easy and like that's actually one of the reasons i love development so much is because it's so easy to just go off into your own world and do your own thing but we're trying to pass so that this is not the time to do that so make sure you are not going too long without rereading what was given to you to make sure you are on the right track and staying on the right track number four if you get stuck on things keep note of what you're getting stuck on again literally take your pen and paper and write it down what exactly are you getting stuck on is it the on click function is it this specific adding components and react what is it you're getting stuck on and the reason this is so important so i mentioned that we had about four tries total for each coding challenge so that was appreciated very much so so pro tip try number one don't go into it like bet i'm gonna get it the first try like don't even come at me like in five minutes teacher check your imp no don't come with the expectation that you're going to pass the first try i'm not saying you won't i'm not saying you won't but reframe your mind to treat the first try as a starting point to treat it as a way to see where the gaps in your knowledge are because again these coding challenges are directly correlated to what has been taught to you the coding challenges i got even would be literally what was something that was done during a lesson so during a lesson and so if i had just you know made sure i took notes and b b did build and burns and things like that i would have gotten this code challenge right away but of course with how quickly coding bootcamp goes and how much information is being thrown at you things slip through the cracks they do and so treat trial number one as a way to see what has fallen through that crack 
And so when you get stuck on something, take note of it. Don't panic. Don't be looking at the time, stressing out. Take note of it so that way when you don't pass this first try, again, I I don't think I ever... Yeah, I never passed on my first try. So, like, if that makes you feel any better, take that. Because I never... One of them actually used up all my tries. Like, went, went to the fourth try trembling, hoping I would they would pass me <laughs> and everything. And so, treat that first try as a way to see where I slipped through the cracks, where the gaps in your knowledge are. And when you submit it right away, go to that piece of paper where you list it out where you're getting stuck and now work on those. Is it on click functions in JavaScript, in vanilla JavaScript? Okay, so now go and figure that out. Do build and burns, practice, look up resources, talk to your teachers and your instructors and your classmates, y'all. I was saying this to one of y'all if you're watching this. <laughs> like sometimes it was not even my teachers, not even outside resources. It was my classmates dragging me through that finish line because y'all, it's a hard program. It's intense, it's stressful, and you can't do it alone. Maybe you can, but you shouldn't. It's, it's You shouldn't because then you're missing out on opportunities to get closer with one another to help each other out and all of that so go to your classmates go to all these different resources and say hey i have trouble with on click functions i have trouble with x y and z is anyone available to help me out with them all of my you know lectures and sessions with teachers were recorded so i was always able to go back to them so if that is the same case for you go back to those recorded lectures go back to those recorded sessions and code along make sure you're really following along da -da -da, take notes do everything you need to do to make sure you're crossing off that list of things you got stuck on so when trial two comes the day after or two days after you got it you got it because for me it was always also the same um the same prompt the same deliverables being asked the same exact problem so i was able to now go in the second or third day like not even needing to re read it read it but not even needing to read it because i was like bet like i have it down i can do this with my eyes closed so like bring it on and my last tip for you all i saved it for the last because i didn't want y'all to, to roll your eyes when i said it as the first thing but read the question read the question so and <laughs> if you knew <laughs> how many times I don't read questions to things, not even like coding bootcamp, but even exams, I don't read full questions. I just always, I think it's because I just get so anxious and am like, okay, like I have to, I have to go quickly. I have to go now. I have no time. Da, da, da. And so I just read the first few words and then like my eye jumps to like a keyword and I'm like, cool, bet. And then I go. And then meanwhile, I missed like, the not like the do not do this part and i'm thinking and i'm over here doing it so read the full questions a lot of times little hints will be scattered within the challenge they give you of ways to go about the problems little keywords indicating okay so I actually should do this first and then I actually will do this next and I actually can't do this without looking here so really read it don't seriously development and being just a software developer in the actual field is more than just coding coding people will tell you left and right it sometimes is like 10 percent of the job seriously seriously you need to learn to read and really decipher the challenge brought to you before just jumping into code because that kind of what ends up making the difference between a coder and a developer so just keep that in mind also note that each coding challenge was kind of done a different way and so the one so i'm really sharing tips on more the like hardest one i got because i want to say i think maybe my first coding challenge it was more of like maybe maybe a more step-by-step -step situation where it was like make sure you do this type of function and make sure after you do that function you do this maybe that was like the first coding challenge the f maybe yeah first or first two but by you know three four and five it was like yo we're looking for a calculator app go so keep that in mind so that when you go to your first one you don't think i lied to you so wait until you're done and then look back at this video and you'll be like oh maybe maybe she was onto something or maybe i wasn't if you have tips of your own please 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 let us know y'all like let's let's help each other so let me know put in the comments but i hope this helps 
at least one of you. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment if you know you liked it. It really helps me and my channel a lot. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.